Whoa, it's getting bright. It's getting bright. Yo, it's been a long time. Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be making pants that I call the tapestry full side zipper baggy denim, <laughs> something like that. Now the pants itself isn't going to be made entirely out of tapestry. I personally wouldn't wear something like that. So it's only gonna take up like big portions of the pants. I still want the overall look to be jeans, you know, denim pants. But in the end, you can have the option whether you wanna show the tapestry or not, you'll see. But this one should be a pretty straightforward, pretty simple project, so yeah, let's get into it. Levi's 569s, thank you for your sacrifice. They have a loose straight fit, which I prefer for my current DIYs. So they're definitely a model I'm gonna look out for at the thrift store. As per usual, since I wanna work on the side seams of the pants, the first step is to release the hems at the bottom of the pant legs. Now there is a way to remove the stitches cleanly like the side seams, but I just can't figure it out. I mean, I know it's possible because I've seen it done before. I'll get it down eventually. Now with the hems released, we can remove the stitches holding down the side seams all the way up to the waistband. I then rip apart the surged stitches holding the fabrics together. I probably should have done this before opening up the seams, but I plan to add on a custom made patch onto one leg of the denim. So I put the pants back on to mark where I plan to add them. The biggest add on to this project is a tapestry that's green and has floral designs on it. Because of this, I wanted the custom patches to complement those designs. So I searched through my stash of extra fabric to find the right green material to use. I found two that somewhat met the criteria. There was one that was a faded olive green and another one that was a dark forest green. Now I was indecisive on which to use. So on Instagram, I asked you guys what you guys thought I should use. In the end, it was pretty much a draw. <laughs> so I ended up just using both colors. Thank you guys for your input. I appreciate it. So the patch is going to be two-toned with the first layer being the forest green fabric. Now I didn't want any raw edges to be shown, so I measured in another inch to the length and width of the cutout to be folded over. The question is, what kind of design should I add to the patch? Obviously for me, Sashiko, since you know that's what I've been into as of late. So in my notebook, I drew out a rough image of the patch with all the designs and patterns on it. Again, the forest green fabric would be on the first layer, while the faded olive green fabric will be used as a diamond centerpiece. Now the biggest reason I went with this color order is because since I'm going to be drawing the guidelines of the stitches with a white chalk pencil, it's just easier to see on darker fabric. And since the first layer requires a lot more stitching than the diamond, it was pretty much a no-brainer to use the forest green fabric. You gotta work smarter not harder. After ironing the edges down and pinning the two layers in place on top of each other, the most tedious custom of this project begins. Sashiko stitching. It was a long grind of drawing the guidelines, stitching, drawing more guidelines, and then more stitching. Eventually, the sun came up and the fruits of my labors were quickly realized. The progress was progressing, which motivated me to sashiko stitch onto another patch to be added on. Using a pill bottle cap to draw even guidelines and circles, I pressed on with even more hand sewing. Why do I enjoy this, you may ask? Hand sewing for hours on end? And that right there is a good question. Once the patches were completed, I pinned them into position onto the pants and hand sewed them on to finalize them. And the best part, I hid all the finishing knots so no matter which side you look at, stitches looking clean and seamless, oh, looking kinda nice. Behold, the tapestry that I'm gonna chop up. Actually, is this even a tapestry or is it just a thin blanket or both? But the plan was to cut out two elongated trapezoid panels to be added to the side seams of the jeans. So I measured and drew in the panel outlines and cut them out. A little side note and a little advice, I guess. I cut them out at a length longer than the pants because I didn't want to risk accidentally cutting them too short. Because you can always take away if it's too long, but you know, never the opposite. I didn't want the pants to have an open hem at the bottom, but at the same time, I wanted to extend the length of the pants a bit since they were a little too short. So I folded the original hem one time and then zigzag stitched the edges to secure it and to prevent fraying. 
Now I also did the same with the tapestry panels. Fortunately, since I cut them out with extra length, I folded the edge of the panel that would be aligned with the pantsem and sewed that down to secure it as well. Which way the zipper zipped and unzipped was an important step to not take lightly since it may make the pants uneven or not even be able to zip up at all if positioned incorrectly. The zipper I used is able to come completely apart when unzipped so I made sure that the end is at the bottom of the pants. Double check, triple check, all that stuff before sewing it in. After each side of the zippers were sewn onto their seams of the pants, I lined up the tapestry panels along its edges and sewed them in. Everything was sewn in, but there was still excess of the tapestry and zippers coming out the waistband. I didn't want to risk destroying my sewing machine needle, so I just hand stitched over the zippers and tapestry at the point where I want the zipper to stop, and then cut off the excess material. The last step was to iron down the new creases along the zippers. If you end up using plastic zippers like I did here, avoid at all costs the iron touching the zipper tracks because it will melt instantly. And I'm talking through experience. <laughs> but hey, the pants are done. 